Joining us right now from our L.A. Bureau is Greg Hebner. He's president of MOS Group, which helps loan servicers work out loan modifications. So great to have you with us, uh, Greg. You say that City, a client of yours, should not escape criticism. Would you go as far to actually lay blame on City for the financial crisis and the meltdown that we saw? Well, Carol, I, I think City has done a lot of good things since a lot of the new programs have come. So I wouldn't be in a position to, to lay blame on City specifically. I think that a lot of the things that are coming out of the Commission are really looking back at practices of former management and uh, an earlier time from the existing group. Mm -hmm. So really my, my view on City's activities over the last you know, 12 to 18 months are really much more positive and seeing how they've reacted. What we've seen is we've seen some of the remnants of some of these loans that were originated and um, are really being discussed as part of the commission. Well, so many questions here to, to say, but I do want to go back in time because you do have Mr. Bowen who used to uh, oversee, he was a former chief underwriter for City Mortgage. I mean, he apparently was giving a heads up to a lot of key executives at City, be it uh, Robert Rubin and Chuck Prince, who was running City at the time. I mean, we've got to look back at time. It, it sounds like he was warning City a, a lot about the potential problems here of underwriting all of these mortgages. Yeah, and I think Mr. Bowen probably shared a lot of the challenges that many people in those risk positions and underwriting positions did in 2006 and 2007. I think there were tremendous pressures being given at the top levels of these organizations to drive profits, drive market share, and you know compete with the other companies out there like Countrywide that were so aggressively lending. So I think a lot of these words may have fallen on, on deaf ears as they moved up the chain of command within these large financial institutions. What do you think, Greg, was the problem? I mean, why did your warnings fall on deaf ears? Do you think that uh that the compensation structure is is uh is flawed because it drives people to short-term gains rather than uh, long-term safety of the company? Well, I think there's a lot of incentive challenges, Matt, when you look, you know, you look through the mortgage path. I mean, it's certainly the incentives that the mortgage brokers up through the Wall Street banks. There were a lot of folks here that benefited from loans being originated. Uh, when you kind of follow the trail of money, it really goes, there's a lot of folks, even to, even you go into the real estate industry itself, that wanted transactions to, to be successful. So I think there were a lot of challenges with incentives, certainly at the senior levels of these institutions when you're looking at profit and you're looking at revenue goals and a large part of your compensation is tied to stock price and to performance. Uh, certainly it's difficult to, uh, to forego short-term profits for maybe longer-term underwriting wisdom and uh, maybe a bit of skepticism, which most of these banks didn't have during that time. Greg, let me ask you, because you are working with Citigroup, you're working on um, really kind of modifying a lot of these loans. Give us, though, some pers perspective on how bad these loans really are. I mean, can you pick them up and say you can't even believe that so-and-so uh, was issued a loan, a mortgage here? Well, we work with a lot of different servicers, Carol, so I, I, I'm not going to pick out City as saying it's better or worse than other servicers. I think what you do find when we work with borrowers, and we, we've dealt with almost 200,000 of the borrowers that are involved in the, in the Obama HAMP program, you, you see a lot of confusion at the borrower level. You see documentation being asked for right. that they weren't asked to be provided for. You see questions about tax information and income information that would seem to be representative of the kind of information you'd want if you were going to make a, a loan to a borrower. Okay. And as you're interacting with these borrowers, I think it speaks to a lot of the challenges okay. across all servicers right. that these originations were originally done. As borrowers struggle now, they're being asked to provide full documentation in order to have a modification done through the government's programs. All right, we've got to leave it on that note. Hey, Greg, thank you so much for finding time. Greg Hebner of MOS Group.